crispy barbecue peking duck and bacon why do you need to put peking duck and bacon and red onion and barbecue sauce on a pizza how can you be healthy going to the gym refuse to eat good stuff refuse to eat what's good for you and then you eat this it smells of it smells like factory like processed food it smells like a fake flavor burn ham it tastes like a dead person yeah empty the dough it's like a sliced bread that you buy from the cheap supermarket hi and welcome to vincenzo's plate the place where we don't eat pineapple on a pizza and where we don't eat domino pizza but today i have to do it for you because i want to understand why is this pizza so popular around the world huh why is the domino more popular than artisan pizza chef down the road huh why let's go on the website this is domino australia and let's see what domino has to offer i want to order pizza from domino's and do my best to enjoy it okay i will let me see what they have this is not a romantic, tasty name. Loaded chicken and parmesan. Chicken on a pizza. Parmesan. Roasted pumpkin. What asking valley pan? How was that? Olives, baby spinach, red onion, mushrooms, drizzle of garlic. Ugh. Crispy barbecue peking duck and bacon. Why do you need to put peking duck and bacon and red onion and barbecue sauce on a pizza? Guys, Mediterranean flavors are the best. Makes you live longer, healthier. Why do you eat this? We live in a, in a society that we have so many diseases, cancer, COVID, all these problems that we have. But we also have all this great information thanks to the internet. We can learn so much. And you eat this? How can you be healthy, going to the gym, refuse to eat good stuff, refuse to eat what's good for you, and then you eat this? A, a kilo of pasta is so much better than this okay pepperoni puff roll first what's pepperoni you call it salami not pepperoni pepperoni is not a word pepperoni in italian is capsicum capsicum peppers let's see what else they have smoked salmon parmesan and rocket that doesn't sound bad salmon and prawn supreme the supreme word is a bit scary tasmanian pepper salmon prawns pumpkin okay that doesn't sound bad but cream fresh have you watched gordon ramsay videos Ah, oh, roasted vegetable deluxe. That sounds good. Roasted vegetables, that sounds good to me. Barbecue meat deluxe. Smoky bar brisket on a pizza. Peking duck, chicken, pepperoni, red onion, barbecue sauce. Oh, how many flavors have you got in there? How can you taste the peking duck, brisket, and chicken at the same time? And pepperoni. Low and slow barbecue brisket. Why do you put brisket on a pizza, my friend? What? What are you doing? Winter cheddar, which is nice. Bacon, no pineapple on a pizza. Please buy this t-shirt. The description below has the link for you. Chicken and bacon aioli. Ugh. I'm saying this for you, okay? If you order this, you're not doing any good to your belly, okay? You need to eat healthy, healthier, a nice pizza with a nice crust. We don't even know what's in this crust, which I will taste and then I can tell you. We want to have nice ingredients on top, nice fresh ingredients. Where is the tomato from? Tell me. Huh? Was it crushed by hand? Yeah? Is the basil fresh? Is the extra virgin olive oil in there? Tell me. Tell me all this stuff. Mega meat lovers. I don't want to know what's in there, please. Chicken, bacon, avocado. But where are the normal pizzas? Peri peri chicken. Chicken and camembert. Camembert on pizza is tasty. It's nice. But the chicken and camembert. Come on. Really? Yeah? Where are the good pizzas? Where are the four cheeses and, ma and pa porcini mushrooms? Where is the capricciosa? Where is the real salami? Where is prosciutto and rocket? Where is the margherita with buffalo mozzarella? Where is the mortadella and pistacchio pizza? Give me something delicious. Should I get a premium pizza? Uh, I don't know what to get. It's very hard for me to choose. The Godfather. No, I'm sorry. You can't call it Godfather. I'm so sorry. What's in there? Italian sausage. Fresh capsicum, diced tomato on a pizza, calamata olives, creamy garlic sauce, oregano. No, 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 you can't call it Godfather, I'm sorry. What's this one? Cheesy garlic with creme fraiche. Bloody Gordon Ramsay has done it again. Okay. I, I, I'm finding this so hard. I'm finding this very, 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 very hard to choose what I need. 
All right, I'm gonna get the Godfather and I'm making the barbecue meat lovers. Sadly, I have to make this choice. This is what I don't get. We're paying the same price, but instead of going to a beautiful restaurant, pizzeria down the road, made by a Napolitan, beautiful dough, great ingredients, you're choosing to buy this through Domino. And you don't know what's inside the dough. You don't know where the cheese is from. It's all processed, cheese, meat, everything. Sauces everywhere. All right, I can't wait to eat it so I can tell you why you do this. Guys, this is, this is crazy. I'm about to order the Godfather and I've got the option to get a cheesy crust, which I want to try. I want to see how it is with the cheesy crust. These are all the different crusts I can get. Classic, deep pan, thin and crispy, gluten-free, Puff crust, oh, they've got sourdough. Okay, but look, this is crazy. Pizza sauce, I can choose the sauce. I can have barbecue sauce as a base. Barbecue sauce, what's going on? Can you imagine eating a full pizza full of barbecue sauce? Are you mad? That's not good for you, my friend. And on top, you're gonna have Coca-Cola, soft drinks. Come on, cream fresh. That must be a Gordon Ramsay recipe. No sauce at all. No sauce is better than barbecue sauce, let me tell you. I go for pizza sauce, which is already bad for Domino, let me tell you. I'm pretty sure it's not a beautiful San Marzano crushed by hand. All right, let's order this and let's see. There is one thing I have to say about the website experience with Domino. It's actually done so well, you know. Now it's telling me what time arrives, which is honestly 15 minutes. So. The pizza is gonna be done in no time and delivered straight away. That's pretty fast, that's amazing. Pizza checkout. They are going to upload the photo of my pizza here so I can actually look at the pizza. It's something I don't need in life, but they're offering you the service, which is actually, it's incredible, okay? So, see so you're getting a pizza made with processed food, which you pay the same that you will pay for artisan pizza. And then you get this technology experience, beautiful experience online that it makes you want to buy it. You know, like they're smart. They're very smart. I hope the pizza is as good as the website. Guys, I'm not impressed, okay? The website is good. It was meant to be delivered at 1.04. It's 11 past one and I don't know where the pizza is. They can't locate it. I don't know where this guy is. See the GPS can't find him and they only uploaded one pizza so sorry but your website doesn't work now i'm really worried about this pizza where is it where is my pizza this is true guys it's happening right now finally the pizza arrived it took 45 minutes to get here okay now what's this one here okay i think this is the godfather with the cheese on the edges okay the crust doesn't look bad, let's touch it. Very soft crust, very, very soft. The pizza looks like all the ingredients are stuck on it. All the ingredients are stuck, they don't actually move. So probably they've been glued on. Let's have a look at the bottom. The bottom, bottom is okay. It smells of, it smells like factory, like processed food. It smells like a fake flavor. It doesn't smell like food, to be honest. The smell is not really pleasant. I think I just need to taste it. It's a bit cold, it's not very hot, but I blame the, de the delivery driver. It took forever. So I'm about to have my Domino pizza. Um, I'm just curious about the edge here with the cheese. I wanna try it. Mm, interesting concept. The crust is nice with the cheese. I don't call this mozzarella. Definitely it's not mozzarella. It's a fake mozzarella. Um, the crust is a good idea with the cheese inside. Very, very nice idea. The dough, it's chewy. The dough, it's a poor dough. It's not a top quality dough. Let's have a look at the stretch in here. Mm. Mm. So yeah, it's like more like bread. Like, you know, when you go to the supermarket, the big supermarket chains and they have their bread, the cheap bread. That's what it tastes like. Mm. The crust is not that nice, but the cheese inside make it taste delicious. This pizza is called the Godfather. Godfather, you're assuming Italian, Italy. There's nothing Italian on this. There's nothing that reminds me of Italy. So it's an offense to the Godfather, an offense. Look, if you're hungry, this does the job, but I'm paying 
45 dollars australian dollars for two pizzas when i can go honestly to a real napolitan pizzeria get the real deal for the same price with a beautiful fresh mozzarella on top some mazzan on top prosciutto on top i can get italian sausages i don't understand what i mean this is pepperoni and calamata olives italian sausage but everything is fake the tomato sauce is not some mazzano the tomato sauce is very bland All I can taste is the capsicum. I don't want my son, my little boy, to eat this. No, 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 no. This food, it doesn't deserve this, no. Mm. I had two slices and that's enough. Look, the Godfather was probably the best option on that menu. If this is not good, imagine what the other ones are. But I do like the cheese and the crust. Now, this is the sausages, mushrooms, and meat lovers, I think, or barbecue, anyway. Oh, wow, it's very sticky on top. Oh my God, oh my God, it's barbecue sauce. So sticky. I like, I love barbecue sauce, but just not on a pizza. Now, the crust is different on this one. The bottom is cooked. I think the bottom is cooked even better. The crust is so thin, but the crust, oh, it's like a, a cheap bread. Mmm, too cold. <clears throat> The crust is a bread. I know pizza is a bread, but this is like sliced bread. That's what it tastes like, to be honest. You're paying for sliced bread. I don't understand why you put cabanossi. I mean, cabanossi is a beautiful Polish delicacy, but this is not the Polish version. This is like terrible. You got the ham, which is burned. Um, the sausages, definitely not Italian sausage, let me tell you. The pepperoni, the no salami. So, okay, you wanna call pepperoni? That's fine, because pepperoni, it's terrible, it's disgusting processed food, so you can't call this salami. Call it whatever you want. If that's what you chose, pepperoni, you have it. I'm not gonna eat this. Let's save the front. Guys, I'm not here to judge what you eat. I don't care. Mm, sausage is burned. The sausage was cooked before this pizza. Anyway, I'm not here to tell you what to eat. I'm just here to remind you, we have cancer, diseases, COVID, so many problems around the world, you know, wars. Life is too short to eat this. Life is beautiful. There's so many beautiful dishes to eat out there. Try something better than this, okay? You're not saving money with this. You're not saving time because it took time to come here. It's not an experience that I want to have. Just open your mind to food. You know, there's so many different cuisines around the world, different cuisines. Try them, explore enjoy but honestly eat healthy okay you don't you, you don't want to have barbecue sauce every day you can have sauces every day you can have cheesy every day you can have this stuff explore okay make it yourself learn but stop eating this domino does not deserve to be a multi-billion dollar company it does not deserve to go viral this is wrong if domino is more popular than an authentic delicious pizzeria, then you think about it. We have some problems, my friend, in the world, you know, and there's no way we can fix this world. If we have all these problems, it's because of the society, it's because of us, because of what we choose. Don't choose this, guys. Choose better life for you, for the people in your family, and for everyone around you. Don't do this to yourself, okay? Please don't. I have one more bite for you, but I'll just do it for you. Mm. This is not going in. And just to understand why this pizza is covered by barbecue sauce. That's not healthy for you. It is delicious, but how much barbecue sauce do you need in life? Huh? Make a steak, put some barbecue sauce, and enjoy it. But on a pizza, on fake sausages, burn fake sausages, burn ham. It tastes like a dead person. The, the Cabanossi, they died like three years ago. Yeah. Empty. The dough, it's like a sliced bread that you buy from the cheap supermarket. Yes, I'm full. It's filling me up, yes. But apart from that, all I can say is there's so much sugar on this, that it is going to become addictive. And if it becomes addictive, I'm going to eat this all the time, like all the other fast food. If it is going to become addictive, I'm not going to stop eating this. And it is becoming addictive. The sugar, it's calling me. I need help. Please, guys, help me. Stop me. I can't eat this anymore. Please. Because oh. if I have to make a meat lover's pizza, I will remove barbecue sauce, some marzano, 
buffalo mozzarella o nomo mozzarella, italian sausage, yes, a che puzza in pancetta, Pro, prosciutto, capicollo, capicol, capicol, and some salami. That's a nice Italian version. Um, and let's see, some pecorino cheese. I'm actually not feeling good right now. I feel so, something like ugh, in my throat. The Godfather. The Godfather, apart from the cheese on the sides, there's nothing else I enjoyed. The olives is nice, but not these olives. Can I recreate this? No, I don't want to recreate this. This does not deserve to be recreated. So, goodbye. The smell in here gets into your brain, into your head, and you can't get it out of you. You can't. You can't get it out of you. And this is what's happening right now. Even though I don't like it, I've got this smell in my mind telling me you need to heat it. And this is bad. So I'm gonna close this. I'm gonna throw this in the, in the trash, in the garbage, because that's where it belongs. Stop eating this garbage, please, okay? I hope this video helps someone. I hope we support artisans because there are not many artisans out there. So the artisans you have in your own city, keep them, help them, support them. Support farmers, support people that make good food for you. What you put inside of you becomes you. Don't worry about Louis Vuitton or Chanel bags, Prada shoes, Gucci suit. You don't need it, okay? All you need is good food inside of you. No cancer, live longer. No diseases, you live longer. Stay healthy, that's what's more important. This food doesn't bring health to your life. Thank you so much for watching this episode. We will see you in the next Vincenzo's Plate video recipe. E ora? Mmm, non si mangia. <laughs> Vincenzo's Plate. <laughs> this is the meat lover's pizza from Domino. I'm going to show you how to make a meat lover's pizza like an Italian.